Hello! In this video we will see how to use the new Render Studio for cycles in Rhino Boat 6.6. So you will see now I have this ring ready. I want to create a render so I just need to open the Photo Studio under the Render tab. And now, as always, we will find the library of materials. The main difference is that now the main window is already rendering in real time so this is the the main difference now in rhino 6 we have this display mode called ray trace it so when we apply a material for instance in here i'm applying this white gold to the metal automatically it starts render our model so you can see the results in real time so i'm changing to other material you, you will see all these options in the side panel and also uh, the gems we have metal gems uh, let me look for uh, diamond in this case we can double click or drag and drop the material so i just select the objects and then for instance let's look for the emerald double click on the material we want and automatically applies you will notice that once we change anything on the on the scene it will start rendering again so or any any material i apply as you can see now for instance with a sapphire uh, when i apply it will start again the render process so now uh, you will see it's uh, moving on with the render we will have here a few more options uh, for the material so we have this enamel option uh, velvet wood there are uh, several possibilities not only metal and gems and also we have the ground plane option so you will see that there are many available for instance this black one we can choose for instance this uh, white reflective so we just double click on the ground we want to use and it will be applied also uh, some wood uh, we have several options uh, remember that it will uh, render studio will remember your last option use it next time you open render studio so as you can see now i'm just playing around but let's also check the uh, this sub menu in the ground plane where we can hide the ground we can enable it we can also save as a, a transparent background and also there is one option to activate only the shadow so this will be we will find this under the um, ground submenu and there will be one slider also that uh, in here what i'm going to do is um, it usually for instance these materials like uh, marble it allow us to scale the the material so you will see that when i drag this slider it will change the the in this case the marble size so if i make it a little bit bigger or smaller you can see that the marble in the ground is affected with this slider that allow us to change the scale so these are the options so we have metal gems other materials the grounds and finally on the second tab we will find the different resolutions available so we can make full hd renders we can make a uh, lower resolution you will see all these predefined resolutions in case you want a specific resolution you just click right click and it will allow you to add your own resolution and now i'm just adjusting the position of the model you will see that um, it will take a, it will be a little bit slower just because it's rendering in real time when you move sometimes it's a little bit slower uh, we could also change the display mode just to be faster while we are moving the object in this case i'm going to just try to keep it but you will see that it will perform a little bit slower and this is because it's rendering in real time so a part of this um, we also have the, um, the different environments in render studio there will be six predefined environments you will see mainly the reflections 
on the model will be different. So these environments are simulating a, a studio. And as you can see, depending on the model, on the position of the model, you have these options to try to get the best results possible. So you can see there are a few options. I'm selecting all of them so we can see on the model the main differences. And uh, a part of the environments, we also added um, the option to, uh, in this case, the number of passes, which uh, allow us to um, more passes will be more time cleaning the image. Average 1000 passes should be OK. But if we need more quality, we can go a little bit higher. If we need a fast render, we can go a little bit lower. So the number of passes will will be mainly these, these um, the steps that uh, we need to follow. So 1000, it's not a bad, a bad number for number of passes. And finally, the sun, which is another option we added mainly, you will see that it will add an extra light and you will see the shadow. So what we are controlling here in the sun is where is the position and uh, when we drag, drag these this sliders, you will see that mainly is the shadow that uh, will be affected. As you can see now, the, the sunlight is coming from the left, so the shadow will be on the right. So we can play around with all these options. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the sunlight and uh, now we also have the batch rendering exactly like it was on Rhino Gold previous versions. And back to the um, render, here it is. We can uh, create a render. This is the basic steps from the, from the render studio. Just apply materials, environment, resolution and we can click to start the render. Of course, we already see the render results in real time on the viewport. But when we start to render, we can create another resolution. So save our image. I'm going also to show you the advanced options. In here, uh, I'm going to the uh, material editor from Rhino. And you will see that. Let me go back to the ray trace display mode. And the main thing about the material editor is, for instance, if we want to change the color of a gem, we can select, in this case, the sapphire, and we can adjust the blue. In this case, make it a little bit lighter. As you can see, the gem is uh, using this color. So if we adjust the, the, the intensity of the color, we can also adjust the color of the gems or the metal. So as you can see with the material editor, you will be able to select the materials on the scene and edit them. So as you can see, it's not, it's not um, a big deal if we need to change some or adjust some colors in the, in the gems, probably. And um, we also have the, the, the Rhino options in here. I'm also always uh, showing, apart from the Render Studio, the advanced options uh, available in Rhino. Remember that Cycles is integrated in Rhino 6. So, uh, for instance, in here we can define the, the environment uh, background if I want to put the, the background as a solid color. Of course, in this case, as I have the ground, we can see it. But there are all these options under the environment uh, editor. Uh, we can also uh, select uh, environments already available in the library. You will see, for instance, if I select a new environment, uh, it will uh, show you the environments available by default on Rhino 6. So many of them, of course, we can try and use all these environments. I would say that most part of them is not focused on jewelry, some studios, but probably the good one from here is the, it's the this one called Gem Studio. This is good, uh, good reflect on the gemstones. Uh, there are several um, lights on this environment, so usually it's a good result. This is just to show you that you can also add your custom environments to the render but back to render studio and to the environment number one uh, 
uh, in here I think I have everything set the materials um, I can see already the results so I'm satisfied with this so I just click on render and now it will start rendering the image in the resolution we defined so at this point it will appear this progress bar it will be faster or slower according to your graphic driver think that uh, this is um, as better as the graphic driver faster is the render so if you need to render many many models probably it's good to have a very good graphic driver if you render once in a while you just can have a regular graphic card without any specific configuration and uh, of course it will be a little bit slower but um, it will render it uh, in this computer i'm using uh, not a very good graphic card it's a 750 uh, nvidia which uh, it's okay but could be much faster with a with a better graphic card apart from this now we just need to wait to finish the render so i'm going to fast forward to see the final result So when the render finish, it will open this image editor option where we have a few filters here for brightness, contrast. So we can play a little bit with the image. And uh, of course, there will be also the option to add uh, a logo if we have, we just select from the folder in our computer. Uh, this is just to, if we want to adjust some details on the image and when it's done, we just say okay i want to save my image so i just choose the location on my computer in this case i just save in the desktop my render and save the render it's done so this is the result as you can see looks good and this is the way to use a render studio in rhino gold 6.6 .6. thank you